I do not live in hope. I work to return it. Welcome back. You won't be here long. You're welcome here, guys. <clears throat> this is Camps. I've been gone for a while, but today I got a special video with GamerDot where I'll be giving him a short coaching session. And after the game, we'll be talking about Yorick before and after. Oh, and also during the coaching sessions in the game or that he streams with his camera on just to show respect i also turn on my camera for once so if during the any time of the video you see a big black man black. don't worry it's just me behind this avatar it was always have been me yeah hope you guys enjoy hi everybody i'm here with camp psycho who likes to know be camps uh he is a five million point york plus you play alawi as well right yeah, i play alawi as well one million on her yeah <laughs> Yeah, I, I used to like you. And then, uh, <laughs> and, um, and he's kind enough to come in today uh, and give me some tips. We're going to talk about all things York, uh, and then we're going to get to know him. Uh, Camp, so you just said you live on an island, right? So you're in the Caribbean. Yeah, I live on an island called Curacao. How, how, how's, how's the internet down there? Uh, it's like up and down, to be honest. It's gotten better it? throughout the years, but it's usually very horrible. <laughs> Okay, so my first question is, how long have you been playing League? Honestly, for a, too long. I've, I've been playing League since C season four, so it just season sunk. Four? Yeah, so it, it just kind of sunk in this year that, that it, it has been 10 years, and I'm like, hold on. I've played this game yeah. for too long. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's okay. I got 3,500 hours, no more than that, on Daisy, so we're not going <laughs> to talk about that. Um, so, can I ask what your peak rank was? or? Uh, my peak rank was just Diamond 2. So, okay, cool. So I've always been just um, Diamond or Emerald now. How do you like Diamond and Emerald? So uh, this is an honest question because, like, the objective is to rank up, right? So, you know, yeah. you're, you're playing and maybe you're in bronze. You're like, everybody here's a maniac. I can't wait to get the silver. Then you get the silver and maybe everybody's a maniac. And it just seems to be no matter what rank you are, everybody's a maniac. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it, does that make sense? It does kinda, it get any better? That's what I'm asking. It gets better. But one thing that I don't do because I'm stubborn is you should like mute people because they will start talking yeah. to each other and they give yeah. you like negative energy and like a friend told oh, told me today if you give them also negative energy like if you get fed up eventually because they made a mistake you're both now yeah. just arguing and maybe you're distracting somebody that's actually doing good and then it yeah yeah it just doomed at that point so usually i just ignore the chat and because i started streaming it became easier so i just play and focus on my end usually which I should remind everybody because you stream uh, live on Twitch as well, right? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I stream uh, live on Twitch. Well. I got a link here. Uh, my, thing. It's going about every 10 minutes. Um, so here's you. my question. Um, why York? Why do you like York? Honestly, it's mostly because I really like... Uh, how, how do I say it? Like, I really like dark themes, like ghost type of themes, and I love to play Pokemon as a kid. So. No way. Okay, so, cool. so 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 back then i used to play malzar because he, he was like the first pet champ champion i found so i really enjoyed him but since so malzar is very boring but back then he was more based on his pets and one thing okay. i found out is most most people would just roam and leave the lane because they're fighting malzar so I so i would just use malzar to split push mid <laughs> so eventually okay. i found the old yorick and i played him and once they re reworked him he was just way better but back then, I mainly played Trundle and Olaf, which were just split pushes as well. So I sense a theme here. What theme? Split, push. split, split pushing for the win, right? Exactly. Just split um, push. I'm just finding that in uh, like that game, I, I mean, I wasn't playing very well in that game, but every time I decided to split push, I had a massive impact on what was happening on the map, whether I was involved in the fight or not, right? Pretty much. They have, to come in, they have to deal with you, right? Yeah. Or they, or they don't, because like I don't know how it works in platinum stuff, but in um, iron and bronze, people are very focused on the kill, so they're not always looking at the map. So no. it's fun because I, I think that game, no, the game before that, they were so busy fighting in the middle. I went, I went up, I did this double split push and took three towers and, and opened up the rift, and then all of a sudden they went ah, and they're all teleporting, right? So it's like we. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's basically how it works because remember i don't know who it was whether it was nice or arcadian an older youtuber but they said that as you climb, climb up the ranks you usually get better at like things like map awareness and whatnot right and as you start playing you're mostly focused on the kills so you can get a lead and then you start to learn more things so right. that's why split push is very strong like in lower elos and why yurik would he, he may just win by default because everybody's fighting they're tunneling they're not looking at the map and 
even if you weren't right. doing good, nobody's gonna come stop you, so you just eventually win. Well, it's interesting because, I mean, kills can win games if you're fed, but with Yorick, kills don't really matter. No, because he's technically like a super minion all the time. So if nobody's yeah, stopping yeah. the super minion, <laughs> you're just going to win. <laughs> <laughs> and off you go. So, um, And then, so so is that what makes Yorick different? Because I, I've tried to explain this to people. Whenever I play Yorick, um, I feel more like I'm playing chess and everybody else is playing checkers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, because mostly he doesn't have great team fight tools. If you're there, you're mostly right. there to like you either throw an E and burst somebody out, and then you're just like yeah. you're trying to wall somebody or finish somebody yeah. off. But you don't have the tools. That's why whenever I try to team fight, I usually just release Maiden and then I act like I'm grouping. I wall right. people if I have some ghouls, I throw them, but and then eventually I back off. But that's a habit because I used to play Malzar. So that's right, why right, when right. I, how I play Yorick is like how I used to play Malzar. I just play around the pets and back off very often. This is from one of my, on my stream. Yorick is the only character in the game playing RTS, managing an army while everybody else is playing a MOBA. So <laughs> that is true. And then, so so what, what are, okay, so you just mentioned it. Like, so, because there was a team fight going that last game and I'm like, if I rotate to that, I'm, I'm screwed. I got to take a chance top, right? Like, and then um, like, the, when do you rotate? Like. I think that's what you just explained though like when you rotate you release the maiden and you go down and basically become kind of a support right yeah practically sometimes if okay. i do keep maiden with me i make sure that before i group i just walk to a side lane and i just recall and let maiden right. touch the wave so there's like inv invisible ghouls in the lane and usually you can't unlike maiden she has an icon on the map but ghouls don't have that so nobody right. can notice it unless they actively move their camera and look Oh, so the ghouls are chewing and pushing the wave then? Yeah, and if the ghouls are with the cannon minion and the cannon is being focused by the tower, the ghouls will right. actually not get targeted and they just get to melt the tower. So uh, we, you were just watching a game there and I made a mistake. The mistake was I sent the ghouls on to the Baron and I could have left at that point, right? Yeah, you could have just left. Why doesn't the, why doesn't the, or not the Baron, the dragon, why doesn't the dragon kill the ghouls? I don't get that. Oh, that's because the ghouls have 50% damage reduction against monsters. But they also have 50% damage reduction against AoE attacks. So depending on okay. the dragon, they have more resistance. But okay. the, the AoE can stack up and eventually kill them. But if it's water dragon, which attacks right. very slowly, even though it has AoE, it doesn't kill them. And if it's okay. wind dragon, it attacks very fast, but the attacks are weak. So usually only one ghoul is being focused. So those, oh, okay. so those two are like the easiest for the ghouls to focus because mountain AOE and fire AOE are stronger. So eventually they will all die. So I bring this up because uh, somebody in my chat had told me about it because I, I wasn't there, I didn't see it. But so th this is something you did, right? You hit the dragon with the ghouls, you released the maiden, you sent them top and you went bot. You did a triple, you were doing a triple attack basically. Yeah, I did a triple. I don't remember the full context of that game but i remember i wasn't doing pretty well but my team was so right. before the dragon started i remember i just released maiden mid and okay. then oh, mid. okay and then i walked towards the dragon but i didn't right. fully attack it and then i attacked it and, and i just went bottom and then nice. since, and since my team grouped up with maiden which usually i like that to happen like if somebody silence like with too. her yeah, yeah, or if yeah, they yeah, group yeah. up because nobody's gonna actively focus maiden in a team fight if Yorick's yeah. not there, so she gets to like deal free DPS, like an invisible character. And okay, that actually cool. helps. Um, okay, so um, I've been coached a few times. So um, what you want to play a draft game and then we can talk about the game or what you want me to go into rank? What would you what do you want to do? Mm, I'll see. It's up to you. What I'm, in, you... I'm, in, I'm in iron, so it doesn't matter, bro. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe just uh, hop in, in rank then. And then as you play, I'll give rank you tips and tricks basically on what you can do or what what i noticed you did wrong so yeah I, I would like yeah i would like that a lot so because i've seen different people coach and stuff and I'm, i think coaching is kind of oh before we do that though i noticed mm -hmm. that you you know on your twitter and everything else you are you know it says five million york posting educational content so you post content for york and allow on youtube yeah and it's mostly Twitch. Yurik because i don't pay post mostly on i don't post a lot okay. of allow videos but it's mostly on Yurik. Because most right. of my, it's like I'm talking sometimes, but it's all from my VOD. But the thing I add in my videos, I, I, I add like tips that just pop up and that tells you what I was doing right, what I was doing wrong, and what was the game plan. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, oh, that's cool. Okay. So right. because I, I do follow you. Yeah, because 
I don't always talk clear. So for people that don't understand English, maybe it's easier for them to read as well. Okay, cool. Well, yeah. I know I speak, uh, I speak two languages, English and bad English. So, you know, it can be problematic, especially <laughs> oh. when I get excited and then I talk <laughs> fast. Right? So, cause I don't know if you know this, I'm a college prof, right? So yeah, um, I, know I get a lot of international students and I have to remind myself to slow down. And then oh, I teach yeah. them to raise one finger if they didn't understand or hear what I said. Because they're, they're, they're very polite and they don't want to say, hey, I didn't, you know, because I get excited about IT, right? Yeah. So, when, so I'll see somebody in the back raise their finger and I will go back and repeat what I said and try and slow down, right? So. <laughs> yeah, because it, it kind of makes sense. The better you are at a language, you start to speak very fast. And for newer ones or newer learners of the language, it's hard for them to understand. Well, you're an island boy. So I got to tell you this, though. Uh, I, just before we start, I went on vacation with a buddy. I mean, we went down to... Um, Barbados. Yeah. And uh, I was walking, I was hanging with my buddy and we were down at the fish market and these two guys were arguing by a boat and they're, you know, they're, they're speaking really fast and a heavy accent and everything. <laughs> and my buddy goes, what the hell are you talking about? Go, well, that guy there is mad because he bored his screwdriver and didn't give it back. And the other guy's mad because he didn't call his sister. But like, I could understand what was going on. You know what I mean? So, and he's like, what the hell? Thing. You know? And then I, uh, my father-in-law, uh, he's passed away, but uh, he was uh, Jamaican, right? Uh, so he would get really excited and then he go, understand me, man? I go, no, I don't understand you. <laughs> you got to slow down, man. That is fixed. Oh, man. And he suck his teeth. It was hilarious. <laughs> in, All right. So, uh, so go ahead. In, in, in our island, because we're like, we're a Dutch colony, but most oh, of wow. our are like African or Arawakan descent. Arawakan is just like an indigenous tribe from Latin America. So most of our are either like black and Spanish. So because we have a lot of immigrants, we all speak at least Papiamento, which is our native language. Papimento? Yeah, Papiamento. Okay. And we speak Dutch because that's our doc where our documentations go. And then because we have a lot of Spanish immigrants, we also learn Spanish. So I know four languages just by default because of course I know English as well. Jesus. Yeah, I mean I'm up here. Every time I go to Europe I go, I'm trash, man. I speak like one language a little bit. <laughs> so uh so the other thing uh, just before we start is you actually you, you do coaching? uh no i usually just help my viewers that if they ask me anything in discord i just always help okay. them i did it once but it was mostly through a vod but i oh, don't okay, do cool. coaching right. well i appreciate you coming hanging out with me today man so yeah all right okay i push the button i'm gonna go okay so i always go lethal I'm, I'm not confident enough yet to do different builds and i in in my elo i find lethal just pays off you know what i mean because the it, it makes it down yeah. it just shreds everybody um, the ghouls proc, uh, the comet. Um, how do you feel about me just running lethal? That's fine to be honest because well, whenever I like, I give somebody advice. I try to give them in general because the builds it just depends how you like to play and what okay, makes sense right. for your elo. So the Did build it doesn't really me, like all build. You said, there was a tweet from you that said like all builds are working. Pretty much they're all working. Yeah. Like I have people okay. that some of them go attack speed Yorick with Kraken Slayer and Bork, which I never tried. What? Yeah. Oh, wow. In gold oh and, so you're, and just... You're a blender. You're a blender. Pretty much. And so some of them go full AP, actually. Right. Okay. Yeah, so everybody's talking about the everything AP. Everything works, really. AP build is a, is a bit of a troll build. but So uh, so you can see this is pretty standard York build. The only thing is I usually go Gathering Storm because near the end of the game, I get stronger, right? And then it just I just chew towers, right? Yeah, that, that, that one makes sense. For me, I usually take Scorch because York's early is weaker so with the scorch and comet i just use their early base damage to, like poke people out a bit more often but gathering uh, storm it isn't bad uh i so that's what i didn't know because i i like to try i don't quite get a kill do you find <laughs> scorch is worth more than the gathering storm because i'm gonna get stuff from the uh, you know what i mean it's kind of a it's, it's a kind of be, rune. it's it's kind of like risky because like yorick is weak early and he skills already but his scaling is not always guaranteed so i usually just take scorch to like make sure i'm poking the enemy more in lane because the scorch okay. the scorch will fall off and since our pet skill per level maiden skills per level and a q skills per level i would have got a kill a couple times there with that scorch so, okay, exactly. so that was great so i take mana flow because i suck at mana management and I transcendence do too, not is though. okay transcendence yeah that's usually okay, cool. what i take as well and then i get the boots and i love the biscuits man uh you know what you know what happens sometimes is um i'll forget because i'm talking to stream mm -hmm. and suddenly I'll, I'll go to play an urga game and i get I get I, my my runes are still Yorick, right? And uh, I, but I've won games as Arcane Comet Urgot because you're just poking everybody down. It's hilarious. Man. 
fucking Comet. You know what the funny thing is? When I used to play Urgot very often, I just played him with Comet. Because Did you ma- really? <laughs> because back then, his W wasn't the first thing you max because it didn't have the to toggle. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So okay. back then, you, you max Q first, so the, you would basically poke them out and then all in them. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's actually um, funny. Yeah, and then actually the other day, I did it in reverse. I, I played York, but I was running Urgot's Ruin, TTA and stuff, and I just I was just chewing this guy up. It actually because works the... because when, when you proc it, each damage yeah. you have, because you have pets, you're constantly proccing it, so you see too much value from it. Like ding, 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 ding. Exactly. Ding, ding. Well, actually, the other thing I noticed, because I just changed my runes on Goliath, or sorry, mm-hmm. on, on Urgot because of Goliath. Goliath Games, you know him? Yeah, I know him too. Yeah, yeah, he's great. Um, because uh, it was a cutback, I think that was the rune. A um, cut down. Where it does, yeah, cut down, where it does like 8% if they're over 50%. Yeah. And uh, every time I poke, somebody's like, you know what I mean? Was, yeah. I'm like, what the hell? This is, this is awesome. It, it, it's kind of like low key broken because as long as the enemy is healthy, they're, they're going to take extra damage, which is always. So always it, a good thing, right? Yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to quit vaping, so the process is to lower my nicotine account, but it's put me in a bit of a twitchy mood. And then I'm, <laughs> I've got this like three milligram stuff, so I'm, I do apologize. If you're watching this, I'm, it's, 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 this is a, a Vix inhaler. It's not what you think. It's not what you think. Okay. <laughs> well, you were, just, you were just watching that game I played, and I mean, yeah. I was behind for a long time. Was I doing, like, how did you, what was your general vibe of my York, even when I'm losing? I think a lot of times when you start to fight, you have to like, you like, you go in, but then you wall off and you like, you, you need to like back off and see what the enemy will try to do when they're stuck. Because it's okay, trying to try and assess the Okay, right. Yeah, like when you were fighting the Morgana, you can get close to the Morgana, but the moment you do, she's going to like ult you. So then you, you back off and just leave her inside the cage. But sometimes if you're fighting an 80 carry, then that's like not an option or an auto attacker because they're, right. they're the only ones you need to like actively be on, be on top of because they're going right. to just stay in range to DPS. Because they're going to be happy about that, right? Exactly. And we will not be happy, so we need to run. We, we, would, we would not be happy. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, and then I ban Aurelio because... Uh, oh, good. I don't ADC. So this is classic. This is classic glow elo. So, oh, you have a Jack's uh, jungle too, so that's... One. We'll be fine. Yeah, that's great. Uh, says bro, I don't do ADC. Yeah, I do now. <laughs> <laughs> you do that. <laughs> it's kind of uh, funny because back then, in season four, nobody could choose their role, so everybody had to kind of know how to play everything. Oh, I've heard people talk about that. Yeah, it's kind of like blind pick. So yeah, right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. So you have to. Well, actually, sorry, I just I'm scrolling. Um. This couple of weeks ago, I was on, you know, I was working my way up, up to B1 before all the sadness happened. And then, um, um, then I was going for bronze three. I needed one win and I got auto filled Urgot jungle and crushed it. Bro, just crushed it. Urgot and- jungle is way more fun than Ur- Urgot top. I don't know why, but when I play them, I play them jungle very often. Wait, Urgot? Yeah. Because his W deals a lot of damage to the monsters because they buffed it like yeah, 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 a yeah, few yeah, seasons yeah, yeah, yeah. ago. Yeah, well, if you can get, I run Swifty Boots, and then if you can get to uh, level nine so you can toggle, and then you get Tiamat, that's it. I, I had the Pretty clear much. down to like a minute. It was ridiculous. He's very like fun in the one, jungle. One, one, 105 or something like that. And, and uh, you know, a fast Urgot is terrifying. <laughs> Especially if you take something like water walking and you're just zooming through the jungle. Not jungle, but like the river near Dragon. Okay, here we go. Now, um, I always start Q. Um, I've started E and W or just not taking anything. Like, do you always start the same thing or you wait to see what's going on? I usually always start my E because... E? Yeah, because usually in my ELO, they know that. Yorick is very weak at the beginning, like kind of like Nasus, because Nasus also just usually starts Q. So depending right. who I'm fighting, they will just look to all in me because I only have my Q and I actively want to just get my graves and they usually right. would win. So because right. of that, I just start E and I CS with E at the beginning and then I get Q. 
what was his name? I was I got in a TikTok, one of those TikTok um, tournaments or whatever. Mm-hmm. I was playing against, damn it, I can't remember his name. He's a really good, really good York. Uh, and, JB uh, Poppins, he maybe? Yeah, it was Poppins. Yeah, it was Poppins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, level two, I almost killed him. And and then I proxied him. So later we were talking, he goes, I didn't know you knew how to proxy. I'm like, damn, hippie, bro. You're not, get, you're not touching nothing, man. I, 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 think, I, think I, I think I remember that game because I was watching and he was losing his mind fighting you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I made one mistake and it was all over. But I, but it was like, you know, it was, it was like, if I'd killed him there, that would have been like highlight of the tournament for me. All right, this is great. I think we're fighting the Mordekaiser. Bro. But it's okay at this elo if I start Q because nobody's they don't they don't push yeah, hard they, on don't. they don't they don't proxy they don't you know what I mean yeah and then once I get the ghouls then it's all over right yeah hopefully 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 that's what we hope oh you know what I forgot I've got a vape cam face there you go nope that face there we go uh, <laughs> that's not it that's not it that wasn't <laughs> it, it. Oh, there, there. okay there we go all right there we go. somebody's asking is grasp useless on York uh, it used to be the weakest one. Well, back then it, it used to be its default yeah, rune, but then it became weaker because of Conqueror and Comet. But now it's kind of better because it works with the Q, because your Q has an HP ratio on it now. Nani? Wait, what do you mean? Like, uh, since the grass gives you more HP, right. the, the lower you are in HP, the more healing your Q is gonna give you. So, since grass okay. also heals you. Now the rune is like better because HP is now useful on Yorick, mostly for the healing. I forget that Q heals you. Yeah, it works. I see it. Okay, cool. All right, we're good. All right, now I can see chat too. This is great. Grass peas. Okay, cool. And by the way, chat, I'm just going to tell you because I'm mostly focused on talking to camps here. Um, I'm not reading chat. All right, by the way, this is uh, my second favorite skin, mostly because it does this. That kick-ass bass riff. <laughs> that, that's actually how I like my skins. Depending which one has the better recall or music. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I started, I started playing Rumble because of that uh, one skin, the Rocket skin or whatever it is. Oh, it's a Galaxy but, one, I imagine. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I got to start playing that chant. Bro, I'm lagging! Just that. I'm lagging! Bro, this game I, sucks, I, sucks. I, I o- totally like overkill on this computer I built here, so it should be able to handle all of this. And then some. One thing you could try to do is against very immobile characters is at level five and four. Five? Okay. You, you can look to like put a, an additional point into your wall. Oh, you think it's worth it? Yeah, yeah, because l- later on, if you trap him, he's stuck in there for longer. Right. You know what the what uh, <clears throat> York uh, Urgot used to just kill York, and then they changed it so that you actually had to auto attack the wall because his W's would just take it out, right? Yeah. That's you usually how the matchup goes. It's like up and down depending which one. Who's got the the initiative, right? Yeah. Okay. How am I doing so far in my laning? Not too bad, to be honest. Because the Mordecai, so he could be more aggressive, but he's getting poked out. So you, you're putting like the stomp on him. Because sometimes, even if you find like a counter pick, if you act confident and the enemy messes up, they're just gonna start to play him back. Right. Because luckily, not everybody like one trick a specific character. So sometimes no, they'll just no. pick something just to counter. Especially at this. Uh... So let's talk about that. You play like he's getting really aggressive. Oh, really? Oh, be careful. He's six okay. already. If he does ult you, we have to... Oh, no, you're out of mana. Ah, oh, shit. Saj. Here we go again. Got him. But you usually... If he ults you, you can try to uh, wall I him. him. I tagged him. What's that? I did, yeah, but I, I had no mana. Him. So, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I had no mana on that one, so... Oh, Q him? Hmm? I know. Oh, got him. Nice. Ooh, we actually yeah, I got him. Yeah, I got him. I got him. I got him. Yeah. So, it's okay. That's a, that's a fair trade. I'll take that. But usually when Mordekaiser ults me, that's when I wall him. So I was just going to say, because I have a whole pile of vids of basically me beating Mordekaiser, but it's I've got my Swifty boots, I wall him, I run around in circles, pretty much, and it's over, and it's all over, right? Yep. Sometimes if they flash over the wall, all you really have to do is like walk uh, 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 around the wall then. Like you're playing Ring ring Around the Rosie with them. Ring Around the Rosie, okay, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So sometimes... really greedy for that kill, eh? He was. He re- I, I think it's because he ghosted. He's like, 
It's like all, all or nothing now. He's committed. Oh, I forgot to put the. Okay, I'll put the next one into the W. There because, you go. That's my favorite thing to do. There you go. That's going okay. See, that's what I like. I'm not even. I got nothing going on there, and uh, uh, he's 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 procking. You know what I mean? It's beautiful. They, 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 they even made it a few seasons ago, so Comet is better on Yorick. It wasn't on purpose, but yeah. But oh, it just worked out that way. Yeah, because they basically made it so like abilities lower the cooldown of it, and they made Yorick's pets count as abilities. So each time they auto attack, they lower a Comet's cooldown. Oh, one one thing you can do as you do scuttle is you can just hit the grubs, and then if they chase you, you can walk away. And as they die, oh, die here. As they die, you can get four for grubbies from it. Hey, everybody's here. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, maybe not on this one. Nope. Oh, we're wow, the whole team came to say hi. What the <laughs> hell was that, man? I think they all just moved because they wanted the grubbies. Yeah, but see, but look, then they should be like, well, I'm not going to. Sometimes I feel bad because I, I want to ping and say, hey, look, if I just drew four people to me, go do something. Like, like, like look, they're kind of chasing them. You know what I mean? It'd be yeah. better to, it'd be better to uh, go take an objective. And like, I don't mind dying for the horde. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's too bad I got caught out there. So, oh, well. Honest, but you, you, you usually not not everybody is looking at the map, so usually you have yeah. to either spam ping them. But one thing, one thing that works very well is instead of pinging the objective, I ping the objective and then and then I run the ping over the person I want to pay attention to it. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. I started I started doing that with uh, like instead of pinging, for, I ping for help and then I ping the person. I'm like, yo, dude, get over here, right? Exactly. And, and I've also noticed that my elo occasionally I, I ping the jungler. And then mm -hmm. ping the situation, and then they go, "Oh yeah, free gank, cool." <laughs> is that the last game I got it. Yeah, the last game I got it. That one. Um, so there's a move I really like, and it's hard to do, but is you know when you got a uh, full complement of ghouls, and mm -hmm. then you e somebody, and then ah, you I know bring you know. your maiden up. You bring yes. your maiden up. But that's basically she... one of the only combos that Yurik has, but it's very nice. Yeah, it's like pretty sweet when it happens. One thing you can also do is even if you don't have Maiden, you can, if you eat the enemy, if they walk away, you can just look to like queue more minions because you're most likely killing the ghouls and then more ghouls will jump. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So every time you kill one, they'll come, right? Yeah. What's going on here? Four to six. Okay. Nice. You just get him poked just out. Just type them a letter in chat, somebody says. I, oh, I just missed it. I, just, I almost got him there. I almost got him. Get back. So I'm just going to let that wave push and leave. Is that a good idea? Yeah. Uh, uh, as long as you push it mostly all the way and it's under the enemy tower, it's fine. Well, he's going to suck up this second wave, right? Yeah. No, yeah, but he, you know? he, he kind of pushed the wave to, 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 to himself. So now the wave is definitely going under tower. So it's fine. You usually as well, yeah. not everybody is patient. So they'll actually just start pushing by default. I'll hope it bounces back to me. I don't know if I lost any CS there, though. One thing you can do is, like, if somebody tries to, like, freeze on you and you walk back to lane, but you do have Maiden, is you walk to lane and then you turn your back and Maiden will then attack the wave. And she's, like, you're acting as she's as if she's a ranged character. So she can, like, touch the wave and push it. And that really? usually breaks it, yeah. And even if the enemy runs to Maiden to try to attack her, if they have, like, an... AOE attack like Trinomir or Riven. To figure that out. As they do it, they will attack your wave by default, and then that will thin out the wave. And because of that, it's gonna become easier for uh, the wave to just come back to you. How'd you like that move? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he just ghosted out fully. <laughs> yeah. People will say like, why isn't this per this character doing there? Why isn't more doing that? Like, hey, dude, it's iron. Yeah, it's pretty much. You basically Although, have to feel out how how smart the enemy is or how much he knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One thing you can probably do very consistently is because the grub spawn at six minutes and you usually get your old at six minutes. If you manage to push them in or they just freezing. Let me wait for this. Sorry, sorry man, I got a lot of stuff going on here. Keeping them busy. 
I can lose my maiden out of this though. Hopefully not. The fun thing about the grubs is as the smaller one dies, you always have uh, more ghouls. So it's very fun to fight there as you're. Uh oh. Sorry. We just came in out of nowhere. Hey, man. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you're just getting around, though. So grubs is re really, really fun to do because you you will just always have uh, like a fuel of ghouls. There we go. Okay, good. I'm going back here. Oh, jeez, sorry. A little tense there. <laughs> Somebody wanted to be the hero. Oh, got him. Nice. Oh, got him. Very long grubs fight. But a great one. Woo, baby. Let's go. Nice. Clearly, I'm just playing better because you're here. <laughs> but I, I see what? that you're That's great. implementing the advice I said like earlier, where you like mostly play like Mauser and you keep your distance and see what the enemy does. It seems to be safer. That's for sure. I don't know if I can pull this off, but yeah, yeah. Well, everybody's pretty busy. Check this out, though. I I, I spam like I get, I get I panic spam. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it happens. But one fun fact why Yurik does a rift very fast is because when rift attacks you, it gives you a debuff that makes you do like half your damage to it. But since Yurik has pets, his pets will have the debuff instead of him. So he gets to shred the rift herald quicker than anybody else in the game because he never has to deal with a debuff. Well, you know what we're going to do. No. Time to go for a ride, bro. <laughs> I love going for a ride. Bro, I swear, Riffrel is the best thing they ever oh, added geez, I missed. into the I game. Missed. Can I actually hit this one? Hope so. Okay, we're going back to the other one. Sorry! <laughs> I, I, I've done that so many times, I missed. It's hilarious. <laughs> and then she just comes up and hits it. I, I totally skipped. That's too bad. That would have been much more dramatic. It honestly happens to the best of us because that even happened to me and I was very close to the tower and I was like, this is awkward. I, ran all, I went all the way through bot lane, came out the other side the other day, you know what I mean? Anyway, and okay, then he just walked he out. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay, what happened? Like, if you just barely miss it, it's like... I guess you just keep going then. If they don't show up. Well, they're chasing each other. Yeah. So, so, so what I say about uh, York, or, you ever watch um, Shrek? Shrek, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, some of you may die, but it's a price I'm willing to pay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I guess we just... We just... Take the whole tower, then. We're eating good. I guess we will. That was a nice one. As long as they don't pay attention, we will just focus on the game. What I forget about, though, is that... Um, if I go under tower and... I almost got the tower. That's pretty... Oh, got it. We got it. We nice, nice. Uh, nice. Is that you know, like when your ghouls are running at, at somebody? Yeah. There we go. Um, if they're doing damage, uh, you take damage from the tower. That's. You know, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 in one case, it can be annoying, but in, in, in another case, you can use it like like like. For me in top lane, sometimes I throw my ghouls under tower on purpose, and if the enemy runs away, I slightly walk into tower range, and when it aggro me, I walk out, and that's gonna keep the ghouls alive for like a moment longer. I don't know if it's a good and idea, but, but it's yellow. Oh, sometimes I release her just to see what happens because there may not be a downside to it really. Well, some people give me hack, and I'm like, you know, maiden's maiden's like He's pretty very strong. <laughs> Got him. Easy. Uh, Jax is low. Okay. Um, okay. I'm going to leave because I don't see anybody else. That's this usually the best thing. thing. Yeah, yeah. If I can't see them, so they're here's coming the for you. If you yeah, if, just because you're paranoid doesn't mean they're not out to get you, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Have you true. tried the build where you go like items that make the ghouls push? A bit faster no no i have not like with static shiv or hollow radiance oh my god but that static shiv really see yeah. i was trying to play static shiv on urga but i couldn't quite figure it out static shit really 
So it so works on Yorick. Work? It works on Yorick because uh, the passives on both items just say when you kill a unit for static, it zaps the wave, and for Hollow Radiance, it does a purple explosion. So I was it, killing that little guy there. So in, in this game, since they have a lot of AP with Vagar and uh, Bunk. <laughs> For Vagar. With Vagar and uh, Mordekaiser, you can basically just go hollow. And whenever the ghouls kill a, a minion, they'll basically have like a Tiamat explosion. Really? I, yeah. Okay, so, I want to try that now. So if you just re re release the ghouls or just have them p push a lane, yeah, yeah. they can actually like push faster than normal. And if you really? have both items, items, they're just going to delete the whole wave. Nah. Now, for me, I usually buy only one, but there are strategies where you actively buy both of them together. And it's actually funny. <laughs> really? Okay, that's starting to sound like my new late game item. Yeah. Uh, well, that's what I like about York, because the ghouls proc everything, right? Yeah, they basically proc. They proc every spell effect, which is a, a lot of cool. things in the game, honestly. Well, this is why I like the lethal build, right? Cause, oh, sorry, I'm spamming. See It'd that? Just with you in my ear, I'm just killing everybody. <laughs> I basically have to, yeah. to just be the g -g 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 guiding voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all. That's all I need. We're good. The general rule of thumb is opposite land, right? Yep. Yeah, practically, okay. like if, if if the dragon is up, you go top, and if the dragon is not up, you just go bottom. If Baron is up, they're team fighting, so I'm gonna they're probably gonna rotate on. Nope. There's okay. Let's see what happens here. I'm gonna yolo it. One thing I sometimes do is whenever I release Maiden before Dragon specifically, I release her like specifically, not exactly, but like 42 seconds right before the Dragon spawns. 42 seconds. And exactly at your uh, inhibitor tower. Because exactly right there, whenever the fight starts, Maiden will be exactly right next to yeah, the Dragon. I see, I just released her there. Oh. I mean, she's going to get it. Well, I also find that she's pretty awesome at, like, saving my life, right? Yeah. People actually just ignore her very often. Yeah, which is great, right? So, but, I'll, like, if I'm if I'm getting pinched or whatever... Mm-hmm. Okay, I Are think you... that was pretty successful. I got 17 seconds before Mord comes back. This is kind of risky, but, you know, okay, whatever. I'm going to leave now. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that was a gamble. I, I knew I should leave. I knew I should leave, but you know, I kept everybody busy. Uh, somebody's asking uh, the following question: Is York hard to play? So my my theory is that you have to play York very different than every other champ. What do you think about that? It's practically the same because York he doesn't specifically have he doesn't have like something specific like a Kali like we have to do a lot of combos but he's not the same as any other champion because you have to learn basically how your pets work and that's not always on the wiki or it doesn't tell you and but but so yorick though is all about macro though right Am yeah, I he's, wrong here? yeah he's, he's all about macro you you don't have a lot of mechanical outplays you can do outside of walling somebody and just watching them die inside of yeah, it my, my stream just called me up my stream just called me up because that's the biggest problem in irons overstaying which is exactly what i just did <laughs> exactly i should have told you to leave but honestly if you killed him it, it, it could have gone better yeah well so. it would have been great and good for good TikTok. but uh <laughs> one thing that i like to do whenever i do get an inhibitor is i i release maiden like right. it, with the super minions because whoever has to go stop that now has to fight maiden and that and then i go the opposite way so at That's the moment i thinking to do but they got vein up top because what i was thinking of doing was trying to see how they got two up there so i'm just gonna go for my tower uh -huh. um and then hopefully i can release maiden and i got my tp coming up so then i can go bot or somewhere but so yeah so okay so you, well especially with oh i see what you're saying though with the inhibitor because then you got super minions plus yeah okay so i get kills when that happens like, if you release the Maiden, they, they think, oh, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, because you usually they'll tunnel vision on Maiden, and then you there just... You the minions gonna... will attack them, like, the ghouls and the super minions. And usually they'll just die. And because you're actually going lethality, they'll actually be slowed, so they can actually walk away. <laughs> uh, so I got pushy there, because I'm like... I got pushy there, so I should have just left it and backed off, which is the idea. I sometimes I get a little pushy. 
We may have to servers. Oh, they got a double kill. See, so what I noticed is if like my game is going well, I will get cocky and then I die. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> that, that's the thing that I try not to do. Mm, I'm not specifically get cocky, but like if I get a lead, I try to just they disappear on the map because people are very kill centric. So if you have a, a bounty or they notice you're getting a lot of kills, they actively now want to kill you. So you, you're right. not invisible to them. So the split push becomes harder because you're actively doing good. Okay. Because now you're on their radar. But that's kind of why if you notice, sometimes it's easier to win the game when you started the game poorly or you were just even. You weren't like a factor in the beginning. Uh, especially with York. Yeah. But if you become a factor, everybody just wants to kill you. Because you're like, you, he has a shutdown or we have to stop him because now they know that you actually like exist. Otherwise, they just ignore you. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Oh, be careful. Luckily, he is running. But oh, usually... He, so, he, so he didn't come around and kill me, right? <laughs> yeah, because he, he, your wall is usually the only thing that's keep keeping you safe from him when can you solo the baron now because i used to be able to do it with like three items sometimes two items i don't know now um the thing is it's different for lethality because you're usually more squishy but for me because yeah, i have yeah, yeah. way more bruiser items my ghouls are tankier so it, it takes longer for them to die so usually at least at three items ish it should be possible see how they're, see how they're pulling up on me but it also so. you also need to be at least level 13 ish what level am I? You're 14 at the 14. moment, but you have to be level... You have to be that level and also have three items-ish. Okay, this is for science. I got... I got only got two items, right? So So now you technically should be able to, but the game is kind of... I got jacks. I got jacks. Yeah. I mean, if you can ping, ping them and do it, it should be fine, but it's, I think your team... See, Poppy's pushing for the tower and... As long as they don't know, you, you should be fine. Because... Even if the Mordekaiser would takes the uh, inhibitor, it doesn't matter for us because we can just push the wave with it. He's not yeah, gonna I end the game. I'll, yeah, I wouldn't have been able to take this by myself, but... One thing when you're doing the Baron is, if the Baron starts to hurt you, you back off for a little bit, and then the Baron will attack the ghouls, and then the focus is not on you, and then right. it's easier to just go back in on it. Uh-oh. I got trouble in paradise here. <laughs> trouble in paradise. <laughs> Oh, remember, uh, if you want to try out hollow or static after your sky. Oh, I want to try static. This sounds like fun. I'll do it. I don't even care if I win. That, that just sounds like too much fun. Yeah, you can build static then. It's like, like, okay, I want to try static. So static. Is it a good, t is this a good one to do right now? Do you think? Uh, I think it's better you do hollow in this case because they have a, uh, actually, actually a lot of AP. <laughs> what's hollow? Uh, it's like sunfires. So you look for Bammy Cinder. Or cowl, uh, hollow baby. radiance. Hollow. Like, oh, okay. I've never, I've never used this. Yeah, it, it, it's basically the magic resist version of a sunfire oh. game. Oh, okay. I've never, I didn't even know about this. Yeah. Look at that. It was, just, it was worth just driving and acting now. Okay, that's great. So it, it's usually weaker than sunfire, but its power is that it, it has way more wave clear. Okay, so I'm just gonna. I love how eventually the uh, the maiden is so so tough that you can just send her down a lane and she kills somebody. Practically the most fun thing ever. Funny enough, a few years ago when you were attacking a tower, if after the ghouls died, the tower would just attack maiden. So it was very hard to just be a split pusher because you have to back off to save maiden. But now it's a bit easier. Oh, be careful. Remember, try to play Yurik like as if you're Malzara. You can get in close, but then you don't have to be fully in the fray. Because Yurik is the few Jargonauts that he doesn't have a lot of AoE attacks. So you can get closer, but the moment you die, like, oh, geez, the pressure is gone. Right here. Yeah. That one did it. That'll do it. Woo! <laughs> choo Get him. Uh, bot lane is not looking very good right now. What's Poppy doing? 
I'm sorry, but we're going to you don't have some. Okay, I can do it. I'll go buy it. There we go. Okay, I think I was pinging there. Everybody's just like uh, really excited about doing something else. Uh, hang on, I want to work on the static shift. So, what's that called? Hollow? What's it called again? Hollow Radiance. Hollow Radiance. I like this thing. Let's see how it works out. Because I'm constantly like, I need something MR, but I don't want to build, um, you know, the standard sort. Oh, there we go. The standard kind of thing. Oh, which geez, which one do you, you usually go when you need a magic resist? <clears throat> go talk to a maiden. Because Yurik has a lot of good magic oh, resist options. Oh, totally they just got me on the edge there. That's okay. Oh. That's goody. Yeah, hey, go say hi to him for me. Whenever the... <coughs> Excuse me, whenever the enemy's no! like... Oh, no! No! <laughs> no! Unfortunate. I don't think I can live through this. <laughs> oh, no. That's too bad. Everything was going great till then. Yeah. Oh, mind you, it's... Don't one hook. Okay, that was a game where... What, how many times <coughs> have I died? Five times. I'm 4v5. So this game, it's uh, 40 to 16. This is what happens in Iron. I just find it goes one way or the other. Uh, even though if I got an impact or not, it's just like too many deaths. Like That is actually too many deaths. Like Kaiser didn't kill me 11 times. I don't know who he killed 11 times, but it wasn't me. <laughs> it was somebody else, apparently. It wasn't too bad, though. Did I lose you? Yeah, no, I'm, I mean, oh, one sec, one sec, one sec. Uh-oh. That, that wasn't too, too bad, though. That's basically just... You did your part, but the team somewhat fell apart. But, but it happens. Uh, I'm iron too, bro. Oh, no. Demoted. It's okay. Um, Let me okay, see if we're so let's, let's talk about that. I didn't know about the... What's it? Hollow Radiance? Is that what it's called? Yeah, Hollow Radiance. Okay. So... Um, I mean, I did some good moves, but what, 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 what do I need to improve on? What would have more impact? You know what I mean? I mean, I got lucky making that call. Plus, you were in my ear, so I, I was like <laughs> kicking the snot out of people. It's hilarious. Um, I would say mostly sometimes when whenever I see that the enemy is pushing a lot, right? That that's when I take advantage of it. But if they come to me, like when you were inside the base and you took the inhibitor right it, it was good that that you took the for the first or second next tower to half but it's better to just leave and then immediately right. you go to the to the opposite side to like keep, keep, keep on the pressure because the problem oh, with yurik okay. is the moment you die the pressure is gone and the enemy they're like free to do whatever, whatever they want whatever. exactly right okay. but but if you recall and then maybe you release Maiden like a uh, bottom with the supers, like I said, and you go the opposite way, now you're controlling what the enemy will do. Because then you can just chill bottom. If somebody shows up, you can just leave. And then you know that somebody eventually will either die to Maiden or right. that nobody is going to be there. And then if you have TP, you can just TP to push with Maiden. Like if somebody left because you're about to die and you either mm -hmm. end the game that way or you just push bottom and play the pressure. Because now you know somebody has to be top, and you're bottom, and then it's like a how do you say this? Like a f a six v five because Maiden counts as an additional champion now. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, 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 exactly. Well, what you're describing is kind of, and I know that when I play well, I do that. I call that whack a mole because <laughs> they're because they're playing. Where's where's your right? Exactly. Um, I mean, some teams rotate better on that, but. Um, so okay so what am i doing well what am i doing uh, else to improve what's your overall consensus and on lethal and I, that kind of stuff i think your poke was very good i think mm, I, I think of course the spamming thing i, I guess that'll get a bit, 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 bit better through time because if you do it in the early game your w mana is actually very high like 70. So if I'm you really do... bad at it. I'm really, really bad at it. My yeah. chat is crap all the time. And I, I don't mean to do it, but it just kind of yeah. happens. My big yeah. hat, fat hands, right? So, L okay. Luckily, later on, it isn't as effective. But in the beginning, it can screw you over. Like the first time the Mortar Guys are ult ulted you, because if your I mana had, was low, yeah. you weren't able to like wall them. And then you had to like flash. And it's kind of hindsight, but like, let's say it's something not... else happened. If you did have your flash or ignite or ghost, you could have done something else at the grubs later on. Okay. Okay, mm. okay. Oh, the, the one thing as well is uh, 
usually it's fine to have like two damage items but after two if you're very ahead your third item should be like something situational like something like either keep you alive or counter the enemy so there you could have went uh Ma, for example, because Thresh deals magic damage, so does Vagar and Sejuani and and Mordekaiser. Or you could have gone Hollow as well, second, not second, uh, third item instead. So, um, okay, so with the lethal build, I mean, the ones I read, it's all about attack damage and all that stuff, but you're saying that I can offset that by being a little chunkier? Yeah. You can okay. basically offset it, like, after... Oh, one second. Oh, you can basically offset it basically okay, after. So build, uh, okay, so I built I two always items. Build clips first, then I go for. Uh, oh, you know what I didn't build? I screwed up here. I didn't build profane hydra. I forgot. So I usually go eclipse, profane hydra, and then Cedra's great gauge. At that point, the ghouls just eat people. Yeah. Right? And it slows them. Um. So. I guess one thing. I get away is... with building three of these and then two tanky items to stay alive, or or what? Because otherwise, I just keep building more and more items that like just eat people right i i guess if you're f fully winning your advice on this if you're fully like winning I'll build um hull breaker just get yeah. health in the minions right and yeah that... I, I wish that i wonder if that affects your it doesn't affect your maiden right mm, not really i mean she, she gains you 40 percent of your bonus hp we'll assume you're talking to chat you'll make a fine wait, addition wait, to can, my can you hear me? i don't know you can't hear me i think Any bye bye Oh, oh, my bad there. My mic <laughs> be muted there for a second. <laughs> yeah, no problem. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, cause so I usually build those items. Like I usually build profane, then Cedras, and then I would go for, is this Sundered Sky? But you're saying pick something situational or to make me more tanky. Yeah, so you, you, you can continue going Eclipse first and profane maybe first or second as well. But then yeah, the third item, easy, yeah. If your team is losing and it looks like they're about to run, like, attack the map, because if they get very fed, if the fed vein, it'll eventually come top, or the fed mid laner, it's eventually going to come yeah. top to stop you. Right. If they're fed like that last game, then your third item has to be something situational, like something to, like, counteract them. So that okay. game, you could have gone Maw, Hollow, or you could just sit on a... One thing I do is I sit on a... Negatron cloak because it gives you 50 magic resist. What's a Megatron cloak? Oh, the. It, it looks like a yellow and white cloak. Megatron cloak. Or it's a and then, white cloak that and then, with a yellow oh, outline. Yeah. And hollow radiant. Well, the problem is, you know, it. So, like, I, I watch Goliath all the time, right? And yeah. um, so he'll. He's very aware. I'm just starting to, to be honest with because I started playing season 11. I'm just starting to sort of look oh. at the team comp. You know what I mean? But yeah. I'll watch him and he like, and I'll watch you guys and I'll watch like the other people I watch because you guys play at a very high level. Um, you know, you're like, oh, it's Tuesday. Somebody's wearing no socks. And I need, <laughs> you know, and I'm like, oh my God, right? So, I mean, I have some of that, but a lot of times I'm like, this is my build and it's going to work out or it's not. You know what I mean? So um okay i'm gonna I'm, so situational so really i could build so i could build um what if i build like eclipse profane and cedra's gauge i just love the slow for cedra's gauge you know what i mean One. um and th and then start building situational and tanky items the the, the the problem is that most games if one team starts to stomp the other you only reach two or three items and then the uh, game ends yeah, so okay. that's right. usually because I, I i can't really predict how hard my team is gonna get stomped or how hard i, I, I may not perform so because of that i just after two items i instantly go into something defensive or situational just to hold back the game okay and what do you think about things like black cleaver and titanic hydra oh those are great items but but, but the okay. problem is because back then, when before this season, I used to always build Black Cleaver with Grudge, Cyrilda's Grudge. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because they weren't like uh, there wasn't like a restriction against it. But now I have to decide between Black Cleaver and Grudge, and even though Why? the Grudge slow, oh, it's basically I have to decide because the game it doesn't allow you to have two. Um. Oh, oh, is it like um, um, uh, what? How do I say this? Um, it doesn't allow you to have two shred yeah, items yeah, yeah. specifically yeah, like, you, like you can't get maw and what the other one that gives you oh um, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah Sterek. Yeah, you can. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that because of that, I have to decide between the two, but. I, I stick with Black Cleaver yeah. because Black Cleaver gives you the most HP, the most AD for that specific gold, and the ghoul skill with both, but the strongest thing is the armor penetration from it, because with four ghouls, they instantly proc four stacks of it, and then an additional auto attack means the enemy lost 30% of their armor. But the strongest part is that the ghouls gain any flat bonus movement speed that Yurik gets like from boots, and from oh, like oh, when I you did not know that. Really? Yes, yeah. So if you deal physical damage with Black Cleaver, <laughs> the ghouls gain right. twenty more movement speed. And since the ghouls, they're not gonna auto attack move like we do. So right. if they gain twenty more movement speed, they get to run people down faster. If you have dead man's oh, plate, like that. yeah, okay. the ghouls will be faster as well. So if you have Triforce as well, when you auto attack, you okay. gain movement speed. They gain movement speed from it as well. And one thing that's mm. fun is if you have ghouls in the side lane and they're attacking a the minion. It counts right. as them dealing physical damage, so you just have 20... <laughs> you have 20 movement speed the whole time, then. Wow, okay. Because so, as an Urgot main, I'm, I'm pretty fond of Black Cleaver, right? So. Yeah. That's basically <laughs> why I stuck to Black Cleaver, even though Grudge is still great. Okay, so basically you're trading... So... You're trading the slow from Cedra for the speed and the the dam and the pen pen, right? Yeah, because your your X damage at the beginning is very uh weak. So if I lower the enemy's yeah. defenses, it e evens it out, which is basically the same thing the lethality is doing. It's ignoring the enemy's resistance, so you get to deal right. more damage at the beginning. So okay, so I'm saying I'm doing a lethal build, but that this lethal build is just based off the runes I'm using and and situation dictates on the items, right? basically yeah but i should be getting eclipse first though because that just seems to like sort out a lot of problems once yeah one thing you can do is then you you can go eclipse first yeah. and then it may be awkward but then you get sasarelda's grudge second so and you have profane yes yeah, so, so you have the, the slow then instantly and then your third item you will get something defensive and needed but if you're fully winning and the team looks even and nobody's getting run down or there isn't something right. that may burst you, then you can just continue your build as normal. So if you're very okay. fed, you can just go Eclipse and Profane into Sereldas. Right. But if it right. looks like somebody's become a problem, then after Eclipse, you just get Grudge if you need the slow or you really want it. Okay. Yeah. Or 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 Black Cleaver. Pretty much. Okay. Because All right. In some games specifically, reading the situation though, right? Yeah, practically, because in some specific games, the slow is not going to do much because the enemy has too much mobility. Let's say, like they they will just dash away, so the slow is not going to bother them. But if well, it's that like melee heavy, it could like, work. like Yon and those people that are run away, like you saw with Mordecai's are running from me. This he just slows down the and the ghouls. Yeah, just, <laughs> right. Yeah, so. against those, it, it, it will work. Right, but other people that are really mobile is not, right? No. Especially I love the AD carry specifically. I like the update. I don't know when it happened, but the, the ghouls just, like, don't give up. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, no, 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 we're coming all the way home. If you go home, then we're coming. Oh, okay, um, so... On, on that thing you said about the ghouls, like, following you, mm -hmm. if you remember in that match when you were fighting at the Grubs, when you threw yeah. your E at Vagar, I, I was about okay. to tell you, but there's a small, there was a delay. If the ghouls are chasing and they have full vision and you walk away from them, the ghouls will gain more movement speed. Because if they're in combat, but they're not in combat right. with minions, they're meant to go back to Yorick. So they gain the movement speed as if they're supposed to go back to Yorick. So you can like walk away and the further you get, the faster they get. So their DPS increases oh, wow. as you run away, which is wow. kind of funny. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's that's huge though that's huge i think yeah. i gotta get better at just like sending the ghouls in somewhere and let them do their thing like that other game where i could have just left them on the baron i just didn't want to get or the dragon i did didn't want them to get dragon for free but um right. okay all right um uh, what well how do you think my or my york is overall like am mm. i okay york guy i was it yes okay it seems pre pretty good the, the only thing i think you need to improve on is just the spacing because depending who you're fighting, you either have to stay close or you need to back away. Right. But, okay. But, yeah, but, well, but that like, just comes with. Yeah. Mordecai's is clear. I got to keep that space, right? So, yeah. 
But you saw every time I got pushy or greedy or cocky, I died. Yeah, that, 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 that's practically like the, the, the way of Yurik. You, you basically learn as you die. You're like, oh, that was a mistake. So maybe yeah, yeah, next yeah, time yeah. you just adjust it slightly. Well, yeah, but I mean, I can make the same mistake nine or eight hundred times and then I figure <laughs> it out. Right? So. That's practically why sometimes I enjoy Yurik to be tankier, because at least at least if I make, I make the mistake, I get to like get away with it more often. So what's your what's your tanky build? Uh, I usually go Black Cleaver first always. And then after Black Cleaver, I get Eclipse. And then after that, I I basically decide which defensive item I need. If I need Magic Resist, I usually grab Abyssal Mask. That's mostly because it's very cheap. It's only like 2400. It lowers the enemy's Magic Resist by 20%. I think it's getting a buff next match, or it was, I'm not sure. But because it lowers their Magic Resist, it actually increases Maiden's damage. So Maiden's, because Maiden, she only deals magic damage, even the percent max HP part is magic. So okay. it actually increases her damage and it just gives you more magic resist, depending how many people are around you as well. When you're doing that tanky build, what runes do you run though? I usually just, the runes, it usually doesn't matter for the build for me specifically. Oh, okay. So I usually I run just, Arcane Comet and buy a Black Cleaver. Yeah, pretty much. Because okay, I, I like arcane. I like I like poking people with the arcane comet. I really yeah. do. So, a comet is just great. It, it's basically Yurik's best rune for his pets because they can just proc it every single right, time. Right. Okay. All right. Well, I, I yeah, I have the same problem with Urgot because I kind of have a build and then and then I kind of stick to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I'm getting a little bit better at switching it up, like you know, um, but. Clearly, I, I'm not that good at going, okay, well, I, you know, like it's Tuesday and it's raining, so I need to do this, right? So, um, I'll get there. So, um, yeah, when I was younger, I was memorizing everything in the Dungeons & Dragons manual and the the, the, the the DM's guide, right? So, uh, ah, back in the day. Yeah, so, okay, all right. Well, okay, so, but I'm, I'm not completely sucking, though, right? No, 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 no. Okay, all right. There's only a few a things you can improve in, and I'm pretty sure you, you will climb. Because it, it basically be going to become like a chess game, like you said. Or you're playing chess, right. but you're going to be playing a ch checkers in that case. Right. Okay. And that's just going to okay. make it better. But it, okay. if you do want to try the tankier or bruiser builds, you can right. go Black Cleaver first. Or you can, you can still go Eclipse first because you're used to it. Right. And then you get Black Cleaver and then you get Sky. Since most of those items are pretty cheap compared to the lethality ones. You should oh, be okay. able to get those three very quickly, especially if you snowball. And then after okay. those three, you can get defensive items if needed. Oh, I like that idea. Okay, so that's yeah. okay. That's why I need my build thing, because otherwise I just sort of build the same thing and hope it works out, right? But that, yeah, but I I like the idea of Eclipse and Black Cleaver. That, yeah, that's like, like because what, the again, pets can you know proc I mean? most like, of it because it's like two items for, for the ghouls with right. Eclipse and Black Cleaver, and then Eclipse can still work for Yorick, but Sky is for. Yurik specifically, because Eclipse, not Eclipse, uh, Sky has the same, almost the same value as Yurik's Q. It heals you for 6% of your missing HP, and Yurik's right. Q heals him for 8% of his missing HP. So those Funny two together, that. when you're very low, gives you like a very big value. But, but, but the reason you probably don't see it as often is because in your lethality build, you only have so much HP. So, right, yeah, I don't have, a, I, I'm kind of squishy. Yeah, and then because you have a healing and a shielding item, if you need magic resist, you can grab uh, Spirit Visage instead. Right. Because it's yeah, going to okay. he increase your healing and shielding. So, see, I, that, so I, I, I like throwing myself in the fight, but I, I'm really squishy, right? Like I, I, That's going to fix it then. Yeah, I and, would totally fix it. Okay. And then you can ignore an armor item and you can just get Sterex Gauge oh, okay. instead. Because you, since what, what I'm hearing is you can build what you want. Yeah, you can basically build full damage, but still have some survivability in that way. Okay, all right. Well, that's open. That's opening my my. I thought it was always like you build the runes and here's the items and that's the way it is. No, you but, can go back and forth depending on what's happening. Well, I could. But that's one build that I. Favor. If nothing crazy is happening on the map, or I'm not fighting a specific character, I always go. Right. Cleaver, Eclipse, and Sky these days. And usually wow, I have okay. a Tiamat, but I usually finish Titanic later when I need it. I only have the Tiamat because maybe somebody's roaming and I want to clear the wave a bit faster. 
Sterics must have a lot of value on your arc then. Yeah, it does. I had a video, one of my last two videos, I built Sterax with Blood Mail. And <laughs> okay. uh, those two items together will give you basically 150 free attack damage. <laughs> just those two <laughs> items. <laughs> because okay. they, right. they, they both just work with uh, HP and AD. So you get Sterax, you get 50 free AD. You build Blood Mail, you get 50 free AD. And then the lower you get on with Blood Mail, it eventually right, leads up to give you 50 plus AD. So right. it, 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 its value is infinite since it scales with your HP. Okay, so that means I can adjust accordingly. Like if, I, if I'm in a York matchup and they're tanky, then I'm definitely going to grab Black, Cle Black Cleaver because that will solve a lot of problems, right? Like if I yeah. go Clips, Black Cleaver or whatever, that's okay. All right. Uh, okay, that's that's opening my mind huge, actually. Thank you. I, okay, that's cool. I oh. mean, I'm, not, I'm still not good enough and smart enough to figure out which one to use, but I, that I can use other ones is great. That's, yeah. that's awesome, right? So. Oh, Sister, if you didn't get to build it, it, it would be nice for you to check in, uh, like, if you can go in practice tool, mm -hmm. and then you buy uh, Hollow Radiance, and then you buy mm -hmm. Static Shiv, and then you will see how the ghouls will just push by themselves. Oh, I'm like, I'm like, so in my head, what I'm hearing is Eclipse, Black Cleaver, and if I get Black Cleaver, I can't, I get Sundered Sky, then uh radiance and shiv and then i'm a holy terror pretty much <laughs> yes right. you can with actually my, do that too with, with my play style right yeah okay well that gives me a lot more to think about because i'm i was feeling you know like it's kind of all or nothing with what i'm building and that's obviously not going to make me a good york player right so um and it I just has to be some macro, variety yeah well i just find that york's macro especially here uh because last time i got stuck i got iron two i just york my way out of it <laughs> um and i did i had a 90 percent win rate because it was because with ergot you know i'm gonna have to carry and i'm gonna have to be in every team fight and york's like no i got i got i got stuff to do i'll see you that's later. Right? pretty so, much why that's pretty much why even though on when i used to play a lot of ergot i can get very fed i can play him decently but the problem right. is in team fights they're all gonna dock poly on top of you and you can't focus oh, every time you can't focus yeah, yeah. all of them so because I play Elawi as well, I'm like, I might as well just play Elawi in this case then. So that's why I practically slowly stopped playing Urgot, even though I still like him. So but maybe we can hook up again because my worst matchup is Elawi. And as... I would like to, I would like to, I was doing a series called Know Thy Enemy, mm -hmm. um, where I play different champs and get, you know, and I wanted to get other people to show me how to play that champ. And then I get better. At, like I've learned that like i learned uh i did one on darius and i've learned the way to beat darius is don't fight him right pretty so, much uh yeah yeah so maybe we can talk again and, and you can show me the ropes on allowing i'd be a total noob but you know we can do it in draft or something if you'd be down yeah we can then okay cool all right buddy i'm gonna take a break and then uh, i'm gonna come back and see if i can uh put everything you gave me to today in use and it just makes me feel a lot stronger i think so Oh wait! Uh, before you go, I I, I want to show 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 you the, the tech of the hollow and a uh, static. Oh okay. How are we gonna do that? Okay, so I don't know if you can see here. Yeah yeah okay. But well, uh, I, I technically have made an. Uh, what? Oh you got just okay you got the shiv right okay. Yeah I got the shiv. So if I just let oh. these ghouls attack this wave, this as they kill, big. they'll just apply. Static Shiv. Now, Static Shiv has a cooldown, so every three seconds when they kill something, right, it's gonna apply it. But oh, look at that! Oh yeah. my god! But if I sell this and I get Hollow, and I do it again, I have to find a different minion. I saw and I saw the lightning going. Yeah. Let me start the lightning. I like this. Yeah. I like this. People are gonna be like, "That's such a troll build." Yes. Let me remove this hour yeah, and then I can show. Oh wait, G give me a second, my grandmother's yeah. calling me. Oh, one sec. Okay. She's nine six. No problem. He's a good guy, yeah, eh? I, I like him a lot. He's a nice guy. Yeah, yeah Percy, this, this is uh this is the uh, psych camp psycho. Five minutes later. Okay. So what am I looking for here? Look at the explosion that the pets are gonna deal when they kill a minion. Yeah. You'll see it back like this a slight delay. Right, right. My Let me actually sell Titanic so it's not too many AoEs. Oh there you go, I see a little I, oh I see the ice, I see I see it, I see it. Yeah. So basically oh, I like that. I like, okay, they that, okay, deal that and if you have static on top of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then everybody everybody burn. Yeah. So if you just have it in a side lane, they just do this. <laughs> see 
Okay, that's cool. She comes for you. So, so I'll try it, because I'm willing to try anything until I get a, like an overpowering build and I play better and just get my ass back to bronze so I can try and get the silver so I can be just disappointed in a different way. <laughs> yeah. So basically, that's basically what I wanted to show you because you didn't get to build it. But if yeah, you okay. release uh, Maiden with this specifically, then yeah. It it's going to push faster and the enemy has to react faster, so you just get to control the problem. situation. Exactly. Okay. My favorite thing is split pushing and then the maiden kills because they underestimate the maiden when she's alone and she yeah. just keeps the snot out of somebody. Right? <laughs> That's frankly the fun thing. Bro, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. And then where's my thing? There we go. And uh, well, I enjoy watching your Twitters and thanks for the educational content. And uh, I'll let you know how it works out I'm trying to do uh, make all this stuff work for me. Exactly. Just always I remember better. to just have fun and stay chill. And as long as you have well, a cool that's why, mental, that's why I like York. Yeah, York. Yeah, if you can just actually. chill. It's basically like, just yeah, you and Maiden. I don't care what you guys are doing. I got, I got plans. It's okay. <laughs> I, get, I got, I got my own team. There. Exactly. All right, all right, camps. Thanks so much, man. Thank you. Thanks again, and thanks for just this opportunity because this is basically my first time collabing with anybody, to be honest. Well, you know, they I appreciate say, it. You always remember your first. So <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> that's funny. But okay, right, thank you, Gamerda. Thanks again, man. Take, Take care. care. See ya. Bless. Ah, that was... That was something. That was a bussin'. Yeah, thank you so much, brother. All right, I'll be back. Uh, I posted a link. If you're not Bless. following camp, please do so. He's a very chill dude. I like him. Uh, <laughs> he also got a lot of good content. I like watching his uh, Twitters and stuff. So I'll be right back. Uh, hit the bolt button and... Uh, Oh, I did. There's more coming. There's more coming. <laughs> this was fun, man. Nice. This was fun. That's my streamer, exactly. Ah, uh, the fuck do I do now? I tried to hell in the cussing for like, I don't know how long that was. But I did. That was one hour, one hour and 50? Wait, no, I was streaming. I played one game. No, but I reset in my stream. Bro, that was long. Exactly. What do you mean, uh... I did it. Actually, maybe I did slip up and nobody noticed. I go, water for the living, shovel for the dead.